Liam, what are your thoughts about my painting? Yeah, that could be an architect. Could be anybody that works with us. Details. What else about it? Um, <laughs> it looks really cute. Yeah. You man, I am two hours into my drive. I made it out of the city. gas since like 1987. Let's we'll see how much this tank is to fill up. I'm at the quick fill. Just for the record, I'm never doing that drive again. Mm. I got home at midnight, I was driving for 13 hours. Took everything I had in me to wake up this morning, drinking out of my favorite coffee cup. I'm gonna give a tour of our house today because I've never done that before and it's really, it's really beautiful out here. Yeah, and this is the car that I'm driving, actually. I got a big enough one to hold all my artwork. So let me show you in the back here, which is, it's weird, it's for Florida plates. I don't know why. But anyway, um, here are the artworks I'm delivering. And right now, I'm gonna go run a few errands in Davis and I've gotta pick up my mom some water chestnuts and then I'm gonna deliver all these postcards. It's probably gonna be like 70 bucks or something to deliver these, but worth it. All right, so day three or four of my journey, I am now Right by Lake Michigan, it's just beyond over there. This is a house that the owners are not at, but I'm delivering a painting to. So, what an unusual situation. All right, mom, you gotta turn it this way. Oh, no, you gotta turn it around. Turn the camera around. I was looking at my face. So I'm getting the painting out. And this is a gift for this woman's husband, you know, the crystal, all the way from New York. Okay, seriously, look at this. And this is where the next painting is going. She bought this piece, of which we're going to hang on the wall. This is my niece Fiona and my nephew Liam. Wave hi guys! Hi guys! Oh, it looks fantastic, just like that. Mom! It's so crooked and blow! <laughs> I've been moving it and moving it! All right, currently in Kamazoo on my third art run after my sister. This is Tammy and Bruiser, a piece that I did back in 2006. So, here we are. So, saying goodbye to Tammy and Bruiser. Oh, it's my last time with these two. But, this is one of the new owners. <laughs> All right, so I am at my last, well, my second to last stop, and I'm here in Chicago now, thankfully, and I design the labels for Journeyman Distillery. Distillery. Well, I do the illustrations anyway, and my sister, she did all the logo work, as well as the label design, and of course, she gave me all credit, which is ridiculous. My sister's so selfless. We're here with John Tonkin. 
and he's having me sign the labels to give us gifts to people that he loves and cherishes in his life, including himself, one for himself. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and sign these. All right. All right. Um, as we talked about, I think down here, right? Sounds great. Okay. Um, okay. Got the permanent marker here. Okay, so one, two, a fellow named Jeff, J-E-F-F. -F. Oh my god, wait, I'm saying two? If you want to. Okay. Oh, it is a vessel. Sure, because like that way I... You want me to I, say I, I, two Jeff, is it J-E-F-F? J-E-F-F. -F. Okay, so two Jeff. Yeah. From Julia. Or t Julia Ha. Or do I just sign my name? Just so you sign your name. Wait, let's turn the camera off and then talk All about right. this. Okay. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, just about to hit the road. Um, heading to Pennsylvania today. I got this like little room, a really cheap little room. I have just been reunited with Power Pussy, which is a very controversial and um, provocative painting that I did in 2013. And a collector in New York bought it, and I've just been reunited, thank God. So I just picked it up from the collector's house here in Chicago, and it just barely fit in the back of the car. Look at that. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Um, so yeah, I get to live with it for a while, but here we go, on the road again. All right, so I am legit staying in like a $44 motel room. It is quite creepy. Um, I've definitely locked the door because it's like one of those hotels where there's no real like huge main building. They're all just like separate. And this guy was like outside watching me enter the room and it's like 11 at night and it's kind of freaky, but whew, at least I got the heat cranking and I'm only here for a night. And then head back to New York. Thanks for following me on this journey, man. Time for bed. All right, so I'm finally on the last leg of my journey. Oh my God, it has been a run. I've had this car for seven days, it's crazy, but I'm about to go have breakfast at this interesting looking place in Clearview, Pennsylvania, or Clearfield rather. Anyway, I need to get some fuel in here, and then I've got four and a half hours left back to New York, and I'm gonna try to do it all in one go. So wish me luck, and I'll talk to you soon. What else? <laughs> I love, I love the picture frame. I love oh, you like the frame. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.